Hello friends, welcome to another video. Today we are running some errands. I'm getting a few Christmas present things sorted. And then later tonight we are headed to uh, Mount Dora and we're gonna go see a Christmas tree walk. So it should be a lot of fun. Um, we're going with a couple of friends, Danielle and Caleb invited us. Uh, so we're gonna go hang out with them and see a lot of really cool lights and walk through like the little village. They've blocked off a few streets. So there's shops and all kinds of goodies to eat and different things like that. So. Here we go. Welcome to another Vlogmas. Today I am headed to Bath and Body Works. It is their candle sale and I managed to get a couple of them online but you can't use coupons online so that's annoying. Uh, so to risk the ones I really wanted avoiding selling out, I ordered those online and we're going in stores to get um, a lip gloss set for my sister-in-law and a couple other candles maybe if they're not completely gone already. It's like 10 30, 11 so they're probably gone. I have all of these coupons and while I was in Michigan, um, I was able to use a ton of them. Uh, they let me stack them and I've heard online that they're only letting you use one today. It's kind of ridiculous, so we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I was telling you it's a bit later, but there still appears to be a line outside to get in the store. Oh boy. It's crazy in here. <laughs> Okay guys, we are back. That took a lot longer than I wanted it to, but got some great deals. Uh, basically, you were not allowed to coupon stack, but they did allow me to do individual transactions, so I kind of cheated the system a little bit. So we still got some really great deals. Um, I managed to put together a little gift bag for Nate's mom for her birthday, so she is gonna get this cool little bag with a stress relief candle, the stress relief pillow spray and body wash. So all of that is gonna go in here and make a really nice little birthday gift for her because her birthday is on the 26th of December. Then I used one of my coupons to get one of the $8 Vanilla Bean Noels. Um, so that was really great. They're originally almost $13 now, so got it for eight bucks. Body wash is always a good thing to have. So I picked up one of those. Uh, they gave us a bunch of coupons, which basically says on December 20th to 24th, you can get a free gift with any $10 purchase, so they keep you coming back. <laughs> um, I might redeem that. We'll see. Then um, I got for my Frozen Office, as you all know, loved this. I thought it was just a beautiful piece that doesn't have necessarily like Christmas decor on it but it really says frozen to me and I can have it in my office with my candle on top of it so very happy about that I think I ended up getting that for like five bucks by the time the coupons were applied and then I've got a lip gloss set for my sister-in-law she loves the Bath and Body Works lip gloss and this one is a holiday set that has winter berry holiday cookie pink gumdrop and sugar plum berry so a very awesome deal she's gonna love that very excited about that and then I got two candles I ended up getting the cinnamon spiced vanilla as well as the creamy nutmeg because these two were sold out online so the candles that I did get online are all themed to the different countries that we're doing for gifts so Brianna got Japanese flower blossom and then Nate's mom I think I managed to get like English tea and I got like a Paris one for Nathan's Aunt Dina so I'm very excited about that and then I bought myself two candles because I'm addicted to Bath and Body Works candles and I thought they were really great so that's what I picked up uh, we're now gonna head out I need to run to Target to try to get one of Nathan's Christmas gifts dashboard cam <laughs> I look like a floating head. Um, just a small rant, because I'm on the way to the post office. Our post lady is ridiculous. So this woman basically finds anything and everything she can to complain about, which if you hate your job that much, just find another one. Like at this point, it's pretty ridiculous. So the ladies at the front of our apartment complex even laugh at her. We have like this little joke because um, I'm constantly sending out packages because I do Poshmark and eBay and Macari and all of that. 
So at the start, I was basically taking my packages to the front and having her send them out because it saves me from driving 15 to 20 minutes to one of the two post offices. That was going pretty great until she decided that she didn't want to pick up packages from the front of the office. So she said, no, you have to schedule a pickup. Uh, I'm not picking up packages anymore. And she has this extreme attitude. I mean hardcore attitude. So she told me that unless I went online and put in a request, she couldn't pick up packages, which they have a thing that says outgoing mail. Like it's not that hard when you come in to drop off mail to just take them out to your truck. They're already paid for, they already have the labels. It's not that big of a deal. She basically just doesn't want to do her job. <laughs> so I tried to schedule online pickups and it turns out that it says when I go online, my area does not qualify for online pickups because we are an apartment complex. So the only place they can pick up is from the front of the office. Duh, which is what the outgoing mail is, but she doesn't want to do it. So I was like, basically, you just don't want to do your job, so I have to go to the post office, fine. Anyways, uh, decided that I just deal with it. And then I got a return from a customer who, that's a whole nother story. Some customers that buy stuff on Macari and stuff are really picky. They sent it back and they didn't put our unit number for uh, our apartment. So apparently the lady said that she cannot guarantee that the packages will be brought in to the main office, even though it says like exactly the apartment complex. She's like, I can't guarantee that it's gonna be brought into your apartment because it doesn't have a unit number on it. Really? You know exactly where it goes. It has my name on it. The ladies at the front know me. Like they're the ones that would deal with it, if anything, not you. But it's another reason for you to not do your job because it doesn't have a unit number. So I don't wanna bring it in to the apartment that's clearly written on there at the front office. What? I don't know, laziness at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, um, she brought it in anyways, but she can't guarantee me that the other packages uh, that are on their way, if they don't have a unit number, will be dropped off. So I would have to go basically down to my local post office and get them because she just doesn't want to put them in her truck to take out for delivery. Lazy, just quit your job, please. Get a new job. So yeah, she's a lot of fun. Hmm, fun little wackadoo. But I thought I would go on my little rant and tell you about our crazy post office lady and why I am now driving 20 minutes to the post office instead of leaving my packages at the front and saving myself time throughout the day. This is cool. cauldron that is supposed to taste like butter beer, so we're gonna find out if it does. It does, but it's a lot more butterscotch. It's kind of like buttered popcorn. Very, very sweet. Well, hello and welcome back. Um, I forgot to end the vlog the other night because we got back at 11 p.m., so there's that. Um, gonna start a new vlog now, but like and subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know it's mostly music overlays, but we were enjoying hanging out with friends and I didn't wanna basically vlog the entire time and be, you know, that annoying YouTuber. So there we go, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Tune in for today's slash tomorrow's, whatever we're gonna call it. See you around like a donut. Thank you.